Hello friends, welcome back to Power BI World. Today's video is all about connecting multiple data sources in Power BI. So as you all know, to create a great visualizations or to create visualizations, we need some data source to create our visualizations. So in Power BI, you can connect to various data source like Excel, SQL Server, OneDrive, Azure Services, Google Analytics, and many other online data sources that you can connect to Power BI. Power BI give us option to connect with more than 150 data sources. So we will see only four data sources that are mentioned below, which we will connect to our Power BI. So let's get started. So the very first data source that we are going to connect is Excel. So let's see how we can connect to Excel file in Power BI. To connect to an Excel file in Power BI, once your Power BI is launched, you get an option which is get data. So if you see here, you get an option get data. We have to click on get data. Once we click on get data, it gives me options for data source. So like in this example, you can see it's giving me options like Excel, we have SQL Server, we have Analytics Services, we can connect text or CSV file as well. We can directly connect it online through any web. So lot many data options, data source options that we can connect to. As I said, Power BI offers more than 150 data source connection to connect with. In this example, we are going to connect with Excel. So just click on the Excel button if you see here once you click on get data select Excel so once we click on get data from Excel it will give it will pop up a window which will ask us to select a file so if you can see here it's giving me to select the file and I have selected this file and once I select the file I will have to click on open once I click on open it gives me an option to select a sheet so the excel file that i have selected contains almost seven sheets and it will give you details of all that seven sheet it will give you an option to select multiple sheets i will have to select any of the sheet here and click on load so as of now i have selected one sheet and i will click on load i can select multiple sheet as well so it will how many sheets I select it will reflect in our fields pane here then I can start doing my visualizations in Power BI now let's go to the second option let's see how we can connect Power BI with access database which is not password protected the same procedure that we followed to connect with Excel just click on get data once you click on get data, you get an option to select access database and click on connect. Once you click on connect, the same procedure it will follow that is followed for the Excel. It will ask us to select the uh, database that we need to connect with Excel, uh, sorry with Power BI. So it's asking, it's giving me a window. So I will go and select the database from a path and click on open once i click on open it will ask me to select the table from the database that i have selected there similarly in excel it was asking me to select any sheet similarly here as well it will ask me to select a table that i need to connect to power bi so for now I will select this table and click on load. So once I click on load, this table, uh, the data in this table, the columns in this table will reflect in the fields pane. So if you see we have a device table which is already connected with Power BI. Similarly you will see 
the agent number of department will reflect here below this and you can start using this table to create your visualizations okay so now let's see how we can connect with access database which is password protected so previously we connected access database which was not having any kind of password now we will see how we can connect to access database with which contains password so we need to follow the same procedure we have to click on get data so in get data this time we have to click on OLEDB connection so to connect with access database which is password protected we need to connect with OLEDB and click on connect so once I click on OLEDB and click on connect it will ask me to enter a connection string so it won't directly connect with the access database which contains password it will ask me to connect with a connection string so to get this connection string what we have to do is we have to open our internet browser and type connectionstring.com so go to your internet browser and type connectionstring.com these are the connection string references that you can use to connect to any of the OLEDB database so as of now we are looking for access what I'll do is I'll click on access once I click on access it will give me multiple options so it gives me standard security it's give, it gives me with database password and a data directory functionality so this is a connection string that we have to use in power bi so we have to use the connection string with database password because we are connecting database access database which is password protected so we have to copy this string which is here which which, which is showing here we have to copy this string and paste it here so once you enter the string along with the folder path and password we have to build a connection so once you enter this you have to click on build once you click on build it will give you a pop-up window which will show you the data source from where the data or the access database is getting connected and what we have to do is click on test connection so once we click on test connection it will show as test connection succeeded so once i click ok then we need to follow the similar procedure that we done for uh, access database select any of the table and click on load so now i have selected headcount 2 and clicked on load and my data is loaded my table headcount 2 is loaded here and now i can start doing visualization basis this table details so now let's see how we can connect a data source a sql server data source with a sql server database again we need to follow the same procedure click on get data and this time we have to select the sql server once I click on SQL Server, it will ask me for a SQL Server name and a database that we need to connect with. So this is optional. If you have only one database in your SQL Server, it will directly by default connect to that database. If you have multiple database in SQL Server, then it will ask you to give a database name that gives you a precise tables in that database so you can connect to that tables. So this is the option this is again optional if you want to provide you can provide it otherwise it will give you it will give you options to select the database first and then select the tables so i have given a database name so it is if you see here it is my sql server and the database that i is connected with now below this are the tables which are there in my sql server database so this is the list of tables that i have in sql server base uh, sql server database and this is the table or uh, this is the database that i have connected with so i have selected table 20 
that is the Twitter's data for Twitter analysis. So this is what I have selected here. I will click on load. So now your data is loading. Once your data is loaded, you can see the details here, which is showing as table Tweety and the columns associated to that table. Your Power BI is connected with your SQL Server database. So that's all about in this video. Hope you like this video. Please comment below and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.